Don't forget to drop by the Colonial Tavern in Fredericksburg for the monthly jam session sponsored in part by the Fredericksburg Jazz Collective. On the second Thursday of each month, the area's finest jazz musicians, professional and amateur alike, get together to crank out some seriously sweet jams from 7 to 9.30 p.m. See you there! Back again with our Jazz Club of the Month. And this month we take you up to New York City. Uh, most of the major jazz clubs from the 1930s on were located in New York, but it surprised me to find out that there were as many in Midtown Manhattan as there were in either Harlem or uh, Greenwich Village. And that's where we're going to take you uh, this month, to Birdland, which opened in 1949, right at 52nd and Broadway, so it was, uh, well, it was basically almost uh, right by Ra Radio City Music Hall. Uh, the notorious Mo Levy was one of the proprietors, a partner in Birdland. And he, he's the guy uh, that Tommy James wrote about in uh, Me, the Music, and the Mob. Presumably he was a mobster, but nobody actually ever proved that. But uh, he was a guy you did not cross. But he was a jazz lover, so he opened up Birdland. And it was named after Charlie Bird Parker. But... Charlie Parker didn't play there too often because uh, his price was too high. But they got some other guys. Let's uh, name a few. Dizzy Gillespie, Thelonious Monk, Miles Davis, Louis Belson, Bud Powell, Johnny Smith, Stan Getz, Lester Young, many, many others. Plus, there were many albums recorded there. Art Blakey uh, did his first album with the Jazz Messengers in 1954 at Birdland. Uh, John Coltrane cut an album there, Count Basie, Joe Williams, many others. Pee Wee Marquette, four feet tall, was the MC at Birdland. And uh, you can hear him introduce Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers in that 1954 album. The top names in showbiz were regulars there. At any particular night in Birdland, you'd run into uh, Frank Sinatra, Ava Gardner, Gary Cooper, Mar uh, Marlon Brando, I should say, Marilyn Monroe, Sugar Ray Robinson, Marlena Dietrich, Joe Lewis, Judy Garland, the list goes on and on and on. Now, the original location at Birdland, which was at uh, 30, uh, 52nd and Broadway, closed in 1964, but there's a new one, which opened in the mid-80s, and is now located at 315 West 44th Street in Midtown, and that's uh, the graphic that you see behind you right now. Over the years, since it opened in 1949, believe it or not, they have served almost one and a half million customers in the various locations. Wow, that is a lot of people. All right, that's our nightclub of the month, and back to the music. That's it for this month's show. Thank you for joining us. I'm live at Pat's Crib. We've had a great time tonight. We hope you have too. And we hope next month you'll join us again with two brand new special guest artists. Don't forget, the jam session at the Colonial Tavern is coming up on Thursday from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Please come on out and support your local jazz stars. Until next month, see you later.